you've arrived in Sweden and you really want to live in Sweden after your studies, you want to settle down in Sweden, I just want to give you three tips. Your networking, your language skills ahead. How are you doing i hope you are doing well those who have arrived in sweden to study welcome and those who are going to other places to study those who have gotten other um admissions in other european countries or usa canada welcome abroad so i just uh, just want to stop by quickly to talk to you about three things i actually wanted us to have like a, a welcome um, program where I'll meet all people who have all the students who have arrived in Sweden because that's where I'm based and unfortunately this month has been very busy for me I'm actually now in Chicago Illinois to present my research paper so I'm just one person I wanted to do this but I couldn't get the time but I think that I still have the platform to talk to you who have arrived in Sweden so if you have arrived in Sweden and you really want to live in Sweden after your studies you want to settle down in Sweden I just want to give you three tips one of the problems I see with most students when they come to Sweden is that they put so much attention on making money and um, I know that some people need to do some extra work to uh, support themselves some of them some people have fees paid but they have to work to cater for them their their daily expenses and their accommodation and, and the rest i understand that but sometimes if you put so much attention on making money some people even have scholarships but they still do so much work to save and neglect the most important things you know you have come to study to be able to get a job afterwards and to be able to do a phd to be able to settle here in sweden so if you don't put your priorities right you finish school and then you'll be you'll be stranded here is not your country you have come to study and to be able to settle one of the most important things is to be able to make yourself employable and some people don't even finish school that's a very uh, saddening situation so please when you come try and make sure that you finish school work hard don't do minimal at school do your best make yourself known let your professors see you let your teachers see how good you are let your mates also see how good you are i'm not saying show off because in sweden is there is there is this word we call lagom everybody try to not to show off everybody tries to blend in so be nice be kind if somebody needs help if you if you have information show it if you if you have a good input in class do it and show and make yourself visible to your professors make your 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 mates also know how good you are that because if your professors at the end of your course if they see that there's an opportunity they know whom to give the opportunity to for a phd they know whom to give the opportunity to if your mates also finish if all of you finish there are some of them who are already living in sweden there are people who will get a job and they would need recommendation they would have to recommend somebody if they have seen your inputs at, at school they would give but if you don't go to class if you don't do your assignments some people are in group in in, in groups they don't contribute they are concentrating on working, making their group members angry. If you think that if they, if all of you finish school and you get, they get a job, and their employers tell them to uh, to recommend someone, do you think they will recommend you if you don't attend group group um, meetings and you don't contribute? So put those one, put that one ahead. Secondly, language is very important here in Sweden if you want to settle here. Even if you are if you are going to be in the STEM. And you really want to settle in Sweden you need to learn the language I know it can be challenging but I also know that Africans we, we we speak different languages so we already have that flair to learn languages Um, so all you need is to set a time in Sweden here is free for you to take the language lessons however it's there's a long queue so as soon as you come you register so that you get you get a time quickly to start the language lessons and those of you who are in the university level, it's the language is not that difficult. Reading and writing is not that difficult there. Maybe the speaking might, might be challenging, but in the school, you learn all these things so you can communicate. You can read and write the Swedish, and then the, the, the speaking comes later. So 
so two things network also you need to also um make sure that you make friends here sweets are reserved the people who have already been living here are, are reserved but they are also friendly if you get close to them so don't say that oh they are reserved so you will not you will not make friends with them they are the people who are going to help you to get a job later they are the ones who are going to recommend you and they are going to give you tips even if they don't recommend you or anything they are going to give you tips on some of the some of the ways around here in sweden so so that's what i want to tell you when you come don't settle put your priorities first you need to make money you can make money but put your education your networking your language skills ahead and just put your ears on the ground your just be vigilant and know try and be strategic to know which area you want to go and uh, if you have a, if you have an eye on a certain kind of job keep your eye on the company try and make friends with the people in the company and send them an email book uh, a coffee and um, break with them book a zoom mean meeting with them to be able to know what they are working on so you can position yourself if there's a there's a point for you that if it comes to a point for you to choose your master's thesis it's advisable to choose a company in sweden to do your thesis with if, the, if it's if there's an opportunity to do that that also helps you to get your feet into the market sometimes even the whole of the master's thesis period you'll be working in the company so they get to know you they get to see how good you are it's if it being on your cv alone gives you opportunity to get jobs here in sweden and that's one of the things please don't settle for menial jobs when you come already as soon as you come put your radar up put your 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 make the sky your limit don't because if you if you want to if you want to settle for menial jobs you're not going to get a permit to stay in sweden because you not get the minimum uh, requirements minimum salary required to get a, 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 a work permit so this is something i just want to tell you before you come to sweden uh, so let me just summarize it when you come to sweden don't don't be chasing money the money when you finish school and you get a job you can get enough money so first make sure you concentrate on your education make sure you do well in all your courses make sure you are visible make friends in class secondly take your language seriously take your language lessons seriously thirdly network 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 make friends so when you come and we, we those who have been living here give you advice please listen don't think you know okay and very soon i'll be in sweden and if you arrive in sweden say hi to me and come and pay me a visit you can meet up and if you have any questions when you come and you have any challenges just send me an email and or send me a message and i'll turn to you in the right time but please make sure that you subscribe like and share to anybody who might find this video helpful bye Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos, subscribe. If you want to be notified for next videos, hit the notification bell. And adios. Hey door, BCS. <laughs>